All right, very frustrating day today. Let's first talk about the build. I wanted to play Scourge, uh, as in Condi Scourge. However, there's been a few updates recently that I wanted to mess with. You know, so that's been a bit of a theme as to what I've swapped around on. I would play more Firebrand, to be honest, and I think Firebrand would have been quite good today, but instead of stacking loads of those videos, uh, let's have a quick look at Scourge. Now, two of the big changes that occurred with this class uh, that you could potentially run is they buffed the hell out of Terror. And they also made a Grand Master change in Spite. So, uh, sorry, Curses. So, uh, I kind of wanted to look at that. And I decided to just pick one of them. And that was the Terror idea. So, um, this is a build I made in what I remember of playing Scourge back in, like, Season 10. Um... So first we have an annulment sigil here, which uh, rips boons when we get to staff, and then that equals life force. Uh, here we through our traits. Uh, here we've got a sigil of escape. This will help us to actually kite away when we go to staff, which is more of a defensive thing in my opinion. More range, creating gaps, pokey kind of thing. Uh, next we have on the scepter doom, so the where well I'll explain in a second and agility. So when we swap to our scepter torch. The idea is we can quickly knock someone down and then use our Scepter 3, the Torment Stacker. Uh, but because we have Doom on there, we get that extra Condi, which is, you know, increasing the range and um, thus uh, benefiting us exponentially. So that's all pretty standard as far as I know or have theorycrafted out. But then I've actually got Sunless Runes. So Condi Damage Runes, when you use an Elite Skill, you inflict one second of fear and five seconds of poison to nearby foes. So basically, if you can get someone dead and then drop your elite over it, um, no matter what elite I use, frankly, uh, I will fear everyone away, poison the body, uh, even if I didn't have an, an alternate source of poison ready. Really, really, really good pressure over bodies. Super deadly, especially considering it fears, which is what the other side of this build is. So let's have a quick look. I'm only going to mouse over the key traits. Um, here I'm taking Terror. Instead of like um, Condi and Boon Convert, essentially, which is the standard sort of one that I always used to run. But look at this. Terra, basically, the buff of this was it always deals its heavy damage version. Uh, it doesn't need an extra Condi on there anymore. They buffed its base strength and they buffed its condition damage scaling. So every second I'm doing 1.3, uh, almost 1,400 damage basically on Terra. And the idea is just to stack reasonable amounts of fear elsewhere in the build. I'm also then down here in Soul Reaping taking fear of death. I could run Spectral Mastery to be honest. There's a few options there. But fear of death, our fears also last 50% longer too. And if we can proc some um, full damage, we also do... Probably the strongest explosion of full damage damage in the game um, compared to everything else. You've seen some fresh air games from season one where it's really potent um, with the lightning field. But this one in theory could be extremely strong as well just because you're going to fear them for so long and do so much damage of it. Anyway, it's a bit of a gimmick to be honest, but I wanted to see how it felt because I've always liked Terra. Um, and uh, so yeah, then on my utilities, this is game two. Yeah, and the reason I'm on Spectral Grass here, I was running Spectral Armor before, and it just felt like such a dead slot to me with the way the game went. But game one was miserable. Here's the end screen. You will see I had more deaths than kills. I had zero... Basically, we just got slaughtered and ran over. No one on my team was able to do anything. I was unable to get any kind of situation. So I couldn't really even play the build, let alone get a feel for the trait swaps I've made and stuff. We just got annihilated. Losing that obviously robbed me of a ton more rating than I get for my wins. And we're down into gold. Ugh, so I don't feel good. I load into this and I think, well, okay, here's a funny combo. I can at least use Spectral Grass to pull people into the walls or something. And this is good shroud as well. So eh, we'll see how it goes, right? Um, so I've made this one swap just because the last game was kind of frustrating. Uh, and, and so now I'm queuing into this. And I won't spoil how this game goes. Um... But I will note that right now I'm noticing uh, I th uh, at least one of my allies was my ally in the previous game. And at least one of my enemies is an enemy from the previous game. I'll note the matchmaker is completely broken at the moment. It took me like five or six minutes to get a queue. And then so many of the same names reappeared. Uh, is telling me that they're nowhere near sort of my rating level when I start queuing today. And it's also telling me, um, I don't know, I, I wish they'd shuffle the teams up a bit. But hey, we'll see. So anyway, there you go. That's it. Uh, we are, of course, on um, Legacy. Now, Legacy's pretty cool. Big open map, large fields. It's actually pretty good for builds like mine, I think. Uh, if you've got a good team fight. Uh, obviously, I have no support here, and that's blatantly obvious. 
Uh, but if we play a bit cagey at the start, we might be all right. So I'm kiting around on the parapets up here, up on this wall. Kind of just thinking to myself, I want to be at the back of the group. Uh, thankfully, nobody's pushing far, which means, okay, um, like, because we don't have a support and I'm on a really squishy, like, silly build, I'd rather more numbers here just to sort of... Um, or maybe that's not a good thing. Maybe splitting the enemies so that this is less of an intense engagement. Anyway, so my guy just runs on, does nothing, gets blown up super hard. And so I'm now thinking, shit, I've got, I got to help him. This is bad. This Guardian's immediately renewed focusing, which catches my eye. Now I've been CC'd by the Hollow. Um, so what I'm thinking is I won't use my Stunbreak or anything. Oh, or was I feared? Anyway, what I really wanted to do was drop the Fear Wall. And then if they aggress really heavily... I could do something. My Mesmer's portaled, which raises my eyebrows a little bit. I look back and see he's dead. So I try and cast the Elite over the body so I can fear them away and we could go for a double res. Um, so I'm in the middle of casting the Elite and I die, like, straight away to the uh, the guard. So, um, yeah, not good. And uh, the Mesmer's defeated. We just got pushed back. And now I'm wondering what the other two players on my team did. And uh, I'm realizing one of them is a staff elementalist who obviously is going to accomplish nothing. So at this point, everyone on our team has died except the warrior because he picked up close and he's just charged in. So we've been wiped really hard. It's almost exactly like the Skyhammer game I played a second ago. So I respawn. And I'm thinking it might be all right. You know, that first wipe isn't too bad. I see that the enemy team is potentially throwing by pushing far like this. If I can win a little 1v1 there and we've got all of our respawns, we can just regroup and go across the map. The um, warrior kites out and like kites all the way around here, dragging two of them, which is okay. This Mesmer's just standing at the base. Uh, okay, now he's moving. So anyway, I see it's an Ellie and I think I don't know what this matchup is at all as I see this. I dodge, but I feel like I got hit by that anyway, which is kind of weird. So here, what what, I'm, what my plan in this 1v1 is, is to pop the spectral, uh, not the spectral, the, um, the, the sand walk, right? And I'm going to run in like little figures of eight, which is uh, going to keep ripping his boons and keep giving me stab. Here, I can see that he's in his elite. So the float is coming. So I want to use this preemptively. And then I'm going to shade and I'm going to start doing stuff. So here we've got this up. I drop my spectrals. He evades through the wall the first time. Then he walks back in and gets feared. And I had my respawn reaper. And we just destroy him super quick. So here, um, I've got to get him off the node. So that we can stop being triple capped again. Uh, so what I do is take a couple of autos on the scepter to stack. And we're waiting for our weapon swap. Soon as we Now, if I press F to stomp. Sorry, just to be clear. He's going to vapor. Delay, delay, delay. We might not even get new. And then I'm going to have to do it anyway. You know, and so it's a double stomp or just some pressure. So what I do is I wait for my staff cooldown. I swap to staff and I finish him off. Because he's got the condies rolling him. With some Spectral Grasps. Now, this is excellent Shroud generation. So, with the Spectral Grasp plus the kill, I get a reasonable amount of life force, which I can utilize with shades and things as I go forward. So, now, it's like, okay, so uh, the Reaper pushed off quickly as well. So, it's all right. We, we reclaim close. Now, we want to push through the map. How's everyone done? Well, they've just zerged far and died. We're staggered. We could potentially nuke mid, and this could be a comeback into the game. 100 points down, but it could be something. But I noticed my my staff elementalist is dead again. I can't imagine what they're accomplishing. I'm not going to be too pissed off that someone's running a staff early in what is quite clearly a very low-rated game. Especially considering I'm playing with builds too. So as I move to walk in, what I really need is the Reaper to kite back up here. And we can have a duo and we can do something. Um, but he doesn't do that and he's leaving this way. And I've noticed that. I'm very aware of it. And I also realized that I've got two players. This is a 2v1 and it's terrible. I've also got no one on respawn. Nobody's looking to support in any way. And this is more of a team fighting thing. This is not like a duelist in any way. This hollow also can rip, the, rip me to shreds by chaining CCs. Um, so I'm backing up because I don't want to fight this. Realistically, I don't want to even want the 1v1. Let alone with that guy turning around to fight us. So, uh, anyway, I'm backing up, which is my only option, but I really don't like this situation. He lands the Amob, and there's the uh, overcharge shot. So now I'm, I'm stealthing and trying to bail out. So I'm dropping my shade here, so that if he follows, I can fear him away. I'm also going to drop the fear walls, so if he follows, I can chase him away with that. Um, and also here, I'm dodging photon blitz. Uh, obviously. I stack a bit of barrier on myself. There's the prime light beam, but it does nothing because I had, um... Uh, 
uh, stab on still. He nonetheless gets another CC. I turn around to try and just get some corrupts or something on him. It doesn't quite work. Um, he interrupts my heal skill. I go for the elite. But he has stab from his forge. I uh, pull him into the wall and stack a ton of shrouds. He uh, elixir and that was potentially a turnaround. I could have done something there. But to be honest, my skill execution was terrible there. And then, not the guy that we saw on the ledge. Another guy zergs me. And of course, this is happening. Of course, I'm getting outnumbered permanently. So I'm going back towards the base. I drop a shade. Use the skill 4. It has a delay before it procs. But this guy, once again, is a stab-heavy guy. Uh, and I die right outside the gate. Finally, I get an ally. But it's the Staff Ellie. Who I think just tried to pile drive, maybe? Um, he goes for a res. Uh, so, and then just gets blown up by the hollow. At least moves into the base and doesn't suicide. But, uh, you know, at this point what I thought is, oh, I have people who know how to, like, fight. Because here, look, the guy isn't wasting time capping the node. He came and he pressured immediately. Um, so yeah, obviously I'm dead. So that's two deaths, zero contribution on anything for me. Except a 1v1 that, yeah, uh, sorry, a 2v1 that, you know anyone could have been with. So the Staff Ellie comes back out. I notice 100%. There's different ways he could be running this. I notice 100% that he's running Arcane and going Glassy. Um, because he had Arcane Lightning on there. So good luck to him capping close alone. Obviously that could go terribly, so I come to support him. Um, because any kind of 1v1, I can't imagine him getting through. Uh, I notice he's Condied, so I'm coming here. The warrior is over Zerging with me right now, but I, it's sort of like, I mean, at this point, honestly, guys, the game's over, and I'm a bit sour that the matchmaker's given me two of these in a row, where I haven't even really been able to play the build that I wanted to play just yet. Um, so, uh, I, so here, I'm pretty low awareness, to be honest. I didn't see these guys coming in. Did I get Prime Light beamed out of stealth there? I'm not entirely sure, but uh, either that or I'm just completely blind. I get Prime Lighted, and once again, the hollow is instantly on me. Uh, actually, maybe he retargeted. We take a lot of pressure. We kill the uh, Weaver. We keep everyone over the body. We Spectral Grasp them all into the Shade, which is pulsing away. We do lots of pressure. This is good. This is heaven for me right now. I get this up, and I start running circles over the body. But um, I've been jumped by the Guardian. I take the, ra uh, the Rally. Uh, I go for the Elite again, because I know I'm going to die again. But if I can get that down. The Elite... A start of the cast does fear away there, I think, because of the rune. But the actual thing doesn't get down. And, uh, yeah, we just get dunked. We, this here is a 3v4, for what it's worth, right? Because um, our Mesmer's doing nothing at mid. Not even decapping it. But they had four players here. One's now dead. Two, three, four. And we had just had three of us. Um, but, you know, there's just no... There's nothing in this, right? We've got a warrior, a glassy star felly, and a, and a pretty gimmicky glassy scourge here. Uh, so then what does my Mesmer do? Well, runs into their 2v1 over there. Um, that's the game, really. That's it, to be honest. Uh, there's not much more that I can say. I don't know what's going on over here. It was a 1v1, right? Wait, how was it a 1v1? How's a guy dead alone there? I'm not quite sure what's going on over there. Oh, yeah, no, it was a 1v1. It was a 1v1. They were both downstate, were they? <laughs> I'm not quite sure. Anyway, yeah, um, I'm, there's no new reason to pause anymore. So I'm pretty sour about today. We're obviously going to lose this game. Um, I don't know. It's. Oh, I wish I'd got to play a little bit today and not just tank the rating down. But there you go, I guess. I might, might start doing some Game of the Days on EU. Because at least on EU, um, there might be more people playing in the morning when I wake up. So here we just fear chain this guy. He's an easy kill. He's a ridiculous build as well. It's just a shame I wasn't able to focus it. There, I played badly. I should have dodged. Like, I'm not watching their anime. I'm, I'm, I'm frustrated here, and obviously, there's no point really playing. But there, I should have dodged the Prime Light. Th this is this was actually really frustrating as well. Let me, I, I, let me just back this whole thing up here. This entire engagement, we got the down state, and the Hollow is pure just chaining CCs. The Hollow is doing nothing to the Warrior. The Hollow is purely railing me, which is correct, and what he should be doing. My warrior, for like some un incomprehensible reason, is just cleaving the body. Leave it alone. Give me some line back. Hit the fucking guy. It was so annoying. Now, in truth, this guy's coming in as well because the team is so pathetic. The enemy team continuously has uh, additional numbers on every engagement. And maybe he could have raised this, right? But in general, come on. You can see. He can't see that I'm hurt because he's not looking. But it's like, just hit the frigging guy here. Um, and I found it hilarious that the enemy like guy... 
Oh, Chan hard. So hard not to be offensive here. That this guy starts whining about his team. It's my team that's failing me here. You died fair and square running into a 1v2. Deal with it. Here, I need some actual support. So here I'm here looking for line of sight and stuff because the warrior clearly had... Like, even still, look at this. Uh, clearly has no idea what's going on. And obviously I get melted out. <clears throat> Which is also my bad because, you know, I missed the prime like dodge. I should have been LOSing much earlier. I should have been much aggress more aggressively watching these people. I don't really know where my sustain is. I haven't played Scourge for ages and certainly not a variant like this. But, uh, yeah, so... The only thing the warrior seems to have done well there is at least known when to kite out of a poor engagement, which he was doing there as well. Uh, and I think that that's probably it. I probably go back to respawn because you know it's the only place to go. I'm not going to walk walk into some empty nodes there. I guess the ultimate last de de uh, desperate attempt to win this game would have been to go somewhere else. So anyway, here I go for the um, interrupt, but uh, I I don't get it. I go for a CC. And he had stab. Then I try to corrupt, but I can't because I'm not on that trait, I think. And then I go for another CC, but it's too late with the collapsed ground. So that goes through. Uh, maybe I could have used this and ran around, but unless he's using WAS and D, I don't think it procs, does it? I think. Uh, could have rolled some Scepter Autos as well. No, Scepter Auto doesn't even corrupt anymore. What is it? It's the three that corrupts now. There's actually a lot of different things for me to learn. Yeah, because it's the skill three that rips uh, stabs. So maybe there, that's a big mistake of mine. I should have cast that earlier. I don't know. Anyway, uh, we can win the 1v1s. We can hound these people down. Well, not all one. It's certainly not here. Obviously, that's that's not a 1v1 at all. But um, once we actually get some damage rolling, is what I'm trying to express, we can really lay a lot of condi out and we can do a lot of damage. As you can see, we dunk that, that uh, hollow there. We also get lots of pressure over the body. We make sure we have a shade there. Then we can even ha uh, kill this guy. We get one interrupt, we get the second interrupt, we miss the third because of the fear. I could pull him back with Spectral Grasp here, but I'm not sure I want to. The Guardian's on me and I want to retarget. I knock the Guardian down, that's all that was for. A bit more generation. We, hold, we uh, start rolling our stuff here. We get the fear wall, we kill the Guardian. And now the Ellie is back. And my guy who was in a 1v1 with the Ellie wasn't doing anything and died. So, top damage, top kills, top defense, and basically nothing. And we drop even lower down. So there you go, fun day of Q&R, right, guys. I will see you tomorrow for the next one.